Hello, and welcome to James the Lesser Express Lane, where we get you in and out as fast as possible with Control Z. After watching The Girl from Nowhere, Netflix started offering me a lot more foreign options, and I saw this show, Control Z. I initially thought, Z, that's gotta be zombie. Turns out, it's not. This show from Mexico is about national school. No joke, that's how creative they are. The name of the school is National School. Anyways, at National School, you have your cliques, your groups, you no, know, your typical high school. And then you got the main character, Sophia. She's an outsider, but she's very observant. And people normally don't notice her observing them because she's such an outcast they don't even pay attention to her. And then, stuff starts coming out. Oh, this guy, he's such a big bull, he's always beating people up. Turns out, he looks up the homosexual porn when he's at home. Oh, this girl? Turns out, on her birth certificate, well, let's just say, it doesn't say F on under gender. Mind you, she was like the queen bee of the school. It's dealing with the person who's doing the hacking... Revealing all these new secrets, blackmailing people. It's like, oh, hey, if you don't do this, I'll reveal everyone that you've been sleeping with a teacher. Sophia, I think so, hooks up with one of the new students whose father is some famous soccer player in the show to go out and try to stop the hacker and figure out who it is. Along the way, she meets someone else who's trying to do the same thing. He's been a giant prick to her and pretty much everyone else their whole life but then his secret came out his dad's a corrupt politician after you no know, campaigning for years like no vote for me and there will be no more corruption in government and he's just as crooked as everyone else his parents have to go on the run he's left at home where he's got access to the safe with a lot of money so he's like you know what guys party well at the party more stuff gets exposed and then her working with the soccer player's son and the prick to figure out who the hacker is leads to a bunch of fucked up stuff. I don't want to reveal anything too much, but it's one of those, well, not exactly murder mystery, but it's very much a mystery of who is it, who's doing it, why they're doing it, how they're doing it. And right now there's two seasons. The first season, they figure out who the hacker is. The second season, they got to figure out who not... This person goes above what the hacker... Like, the hacker is just like, Hey, do what I tell you. I'm going to expose everyone to what your birth certificate says. Well, I'm not doing that. You can't tell me what to do. All right, well, exposed. And the second one, because of the actions of the first season, they want revenge. It's like, well, who the hell's doing this? Who's trying to get revenge? They got revenge against Sophia. They got revenge against the soccer guy. They got revenge against everybody. And it ties to someone who dies in the first season. I kind of want to spoil anything though. But as always with these foreign shows, do not look at their lips. Because as Americans, we speak third grade English poorly. They have to dub everything over from the original language. So it's like, don't look at the lips. The lips don't match what they're saying. Stop it. Don't look at the lips. Oh, also, being a foreign show, they don't have the American values. You know, the American values of, all right, this person's got ripped in half and their skull crush on prime time, eight o'clock, sit down and watch for the kids' television. Yay. It's like, oh no, you just killed my brother most brutal way. But I can't say anything bad because that would go against American values. So I just be like, oh, shucks, that sure does suck, doesn't it? Wait a minute, I said suck. No, I didn't mean to say that word. No! Being from Mexico... The violence is a lot less than what you'd find in an American show, but the language, nudity, sex, it's up there. <laughs> God. I greatly enjoyed seeing this, and hopefully there's a third season coming, because the second season ends on... Well, I don't want to spoil it, but... Ends on a high note, and I want to see more. <sighs> there's a couple flaws here and there. So, I mean, it's not the perfect show. Best way to describe it is 
Gossip Girl meets soap opera. I know Gossip Girl is a bit of a soap opera of its own, but it's definitely Gossip Girl meets soap opera, but for a Mexican audience, not an American audience. So again, values are going to be a little bit different. Like the first time they showed actual like, wait, wait, what? Did they just show that guy's ass? Like full on? It's like, okay, not expecting that. Or a uh, lovely itty bitty titty committee lady going top. I was like, whoa, what? It's like, wait a minute. This is a show from Mexico. Not America. So while yes, they're not, no, explosions and gunfights and all that going on. They're going to have different values. So they have different things in the show. Yeah, like I said, I greatly enjoyed it. Just don't look at the lips. And remember that being from a different country has different values. And again, if you already have Netflix, check it out. Control Z. I'd have to give it a 7 out of 10. 8 would be rating a little too high. And 6 would be way too low for it. But yeah, we'll go with 7. It's a good show. Definitely something if you want to check out, watch a couple episodes, see if you get into the mystery or not. Anyways, I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you for watching. Oh, hey, it's going to listen to the Nice. Thank you for watching. As always, like, subscribe, comment down below, and have one hell of a day.